I know it's not an easy answer. I know it's not a get, get rich quick uh, type answer. It's more of a long-term solution answer. And if we can do it and figure this stuff out without a college degree, without any sales or business background, and we can translate the things necessary to the next generation that's learning these things, maybe you can too. Never short stopping, now I'm winning like I'm Jida. Steady through the rigor. Yeah, I'm getting bigger. Just fighting in them trenches, now I'm making seven figures like. $88. Premium gas, $425. To fill up this beast right here. The Rolls Royce, but the uh, thing is, everybody's all freaking out about rising play, uh, rising gas prices, inflation, all that stuff. Say hi, Jojo. Reading, reading books back there. Hello. So the big reason why guys like me don't worry about inflation, a couple things. Number one, we know things over time, sadly, are going to cost more. Goods, services are going to cost more money. It's just, sadly, inflation is called a silent tax. And um, that's just life. What the reality, the sad reality is, is that wages hasn't increased for 50 years. People are talking about a living wage. You know, employers deserve to pay me a living wage. Quite frankly, this is the United States of America. Employers don't have to pay a living wage. More importantly, you can choose to take that job or not to take that job. The choice is yours. And I know there's a lot of different factors, but listen, I know there's a lot of issues that you and I can't fix. There's a lot of issues you and I can't say, hey government, you're gonna do this, you're gonna do that. Listen, I believe in free enterprise. I believe in choice and freedoms and uh, as much choices that these businesses have in terms of paying you an income, you just have as much capacity to say no to it as you can refuse it. Because I was having a conversation with somebody about, man, I'm just so upset that these employers aren't paying me, paying me a living wage. And uh, fast forward, I never have to worry about, I never have to worry about gas costing 90 bucks to fill up a tank of V12 uh, Rolls Royce. Uh, I have to fill up our Escalade, I have to fill up our BMW. Do you know why? Here's why, I'll tell you the one reason why. We've always had confidence in one thing to rise above the cost of gas prices, the cost of real estate, the cost of goods and services, groceries, food, energy, cost of insurance for our cars. We never have to worry about these things. Maintenance, we never worry about things because we focus in on one thing. You know what that one thing is? Doing what my son is doing right now, reading books, increasing your skill set, having a higher capacity to say, you know what? I'm worth more, I deserve more, I want to work towards more and want to implement the things that I learn so therefore I can have a higher skill set, I can have a higher appreciation in terms of, uh, um, not appreciating like people appreciate you, but appreciation and value. It's like houses appreciate you, career-wise, value-wise, appreciate and value. And we're, one thing I've always had the confidence in saying, you know what? I know working for Olive Garden ain't gonna pay me a living wage. I know working for Jiffy Lube ain't gonna pay me a living wage. I know being a lifeguard at the YMCA isn't gonna pay me a living wage. By the way, those are my three former jobs before becoming an entrepreneur in the inside of the insurance industry. But we did have confidence saying, you know what? I can call more people, I can generate more sales, I can expand my business, I can grow my enterprise and exchange that business situation of uh, 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 starting something at a very low cost of starting a business where I can have a high amount of revenue and commission instead of worrying about a salary or an hourly wage. I've had a whole, whole lot more confidence in doing it. And that's why $90 in gas, eh, no big deal. Why? More importantly for an entrepreneur, guess what? If I use, which is this car is bought through the corporation, and I'm using this car for business purpose and business use, guess what? All that stuff is income tax deductible. If I properly document and use it for establishing what they call a trade or business. I know it's not an easy answer. I know it's not a get, get rich quick uh, type answer. It's not a fix it quick type answer. It's more of a long-term solution answer, but more so of all the factors that's going on in America right now, hyperinflation, the lack of the dollar being less more valuable today than it was last year or a year before. The fact that people aren't getting paid a living wage or cost affordability. Listen, because you would focus a long time ago on how to have the right type of mindset when it comes to con uh, concentrating on what pays us the most. It isn't what somebody else externally can pay. It's what you in internally are willing to work for, to work towards and say, you know what? I deserve better in my life. And if we can do it and figure this stuff out without a college degree, without any sales or business background, and we can translate the things necessary to the next generation that's learning these things, maybe you can 
too. So if somebody's been bugging you about starting a side business, a side hustle to expand or grow your enterprise, this now moment is a time for you to say, you know what? And let me start not only thinking outside the box, but operating outside the box. I'm telling you this, it's not gonna be easy. It's not simple, but I'm telling you this, it's well worth it. And if you want the life that you feel that you deserve, because nobody's gonna give you what you deserve. Life will only give you what you're willing to grow, th grow towards and through and willing to fight for. If that's you, drop your thoughts and your comments in the comment section below. Say, Matt, I'm willing to fight for the life I deserve. Drop that in the comment section below. If you were willing and saw the end of this video, you lasted through watching this video. Because I know this is not an easy message to digest. But if you watch this to the entire of this, of this video, drop your comments and saying, I am willing to fight for what I deserve in the comment section below. That being said, guys, I'm your money smart guy. And until we meet again, continue to smart, continue to smart, and be money smart today.